at the Science Museum. mention a few things uh, while the lights are still on. If for any reason, throughout the show, you have to leave, the easiest and best thing to do would just be to get my attention. My name is Chris once again. Call my name. This will be the easiest thing. I will get a flashlight and I will help you out. It would be very difficult to stand up and just run out with all these people sitting in line the way they are. You will definitely hit somebody. Okay? So if you can do that, that would be the easiest thing. Now, if you have to leave and you cannot wait for me, you must just run out full blast. Uh, please take that ramp you came up. Do not exit on the left-hand side during the show. There are stairs that way, the lights are off, you will not see the stairs, you will fly down the stairs, okay? Please take it down the ramp during the show if you have to leave without uh, my assistance. Now, after the show, you can go in either direction. Okay, now you can see we are sitting underneath this dome right here, and uh, just barely, you know, just by speaking, everybody can easily hear what's going on. So Katie to make me 
three very important promises. They're very easy and they're very simplistic and very basic, but they are very important. So I want you to listen up here. Promise number one is that Katie promises to keep her right hand on the ball at all times. So under no circumstances throughout this next entire part of the demonstration are you going to let go of the ball until I ask you. Very simple, isn't it? Do you want to shake on that? Just make sure it's a firm promise. Very smart girl. It's not going to let go of the ball. You don't know how many people I've caught taking their right hand off. Excellent. So you're listening. Right hand on the ball. She's not going to let go. Now, promise number two is made even easier because I've noticed that Katie's been smiling ever since she came up on stage. She's having a great time. This is good because, Katie, now you have to promise to continue to smile even when you start feeling a little bit of pain. Okay, I don't want this entire audience to think that you're suffering. I want them to think you're having a good time. So remember to smile. And the last promise probably sounds a little bizarre and a little strange, and that's because it is. I'm going to be asking Katie to mess her hair up a little bit. So I want you to shake your head back and forth. Okay, you ready? Don't let go of the ball, Katie. Shake. That's it. Don't let go. Shake, shake, shake. Up and down. Wonderful. Well, we discussed earlier that people have come from all over different parts of Canada, the United States, and even from Australia, and my gosh, they're going to go home, Katie. Look at this. Very disappointed. We have Katie with messy hair. Are you guys going to be satisfied with that? No. No. We want our hair to stand out. What would happen? I mean, perfect victim here. We've got a blunt cut. Blonde hair is really light. She goes shooting up into the air. Didn't work. Why not? Her feet aren't together. Okay, that, that would be a good point. Yeah, we could put her feet together, but no, it's not quite it. It's about something where her feet are, actually. With him. Oh, I just heard the gentleman at the side say you were grounded. Are you grounded? No, not at all. Well, I see you are grounded this afternoon, Katie. It doesn't mean punishment, though. It means that as Katie loses those million negative charges into the van graph, she's getting them through her feet from the ground. So every time she loses again, feet together there. That's it. Wonderful. Uh, don't let go of the ball. Touch the ball, Katie. Now just ignore those red footprints that you just placed your feet over. Those are the burn marks from the last week that I had. <laughs> Thank you, Lana. 
guys for coming out. So let's see what could have happened to him had he accidentally let go during the show. There we go. It's a good thing, eh, Clark, that you didn't let go. Where is Clark? He's probably thanking his lucky stars. Slap your hand on the ball. Make sure your feet are touching. Hand by your side. Keep your hand on that ball and start shaking. Give me a no. That's it. That's it. Okay, you stop shaking. Keep your hand on the ball. <laughs> for hats. Anybody else with a card? You guys, come on up. All right, and you should probably go first because you're taller. So feet together on the red marks. Slap your hand on the wall. That's a little shock to give your cat all the time. Hand by your side. All right, show me what you're gonna do. Give me a little, that's it. Here we go, start shaking. Start shaking. There we go. Give me a no, 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 no. Okay, give me another yes. Okay, keep your hand on the ball. You're, you're kind of lopsided. Most of yours is on the side of your head. <laughs> Thank you. Any more, any more people with a playing card? Hey, come on up. <laughs> They're next. Okay, so you're taller. You might want to give me your glasses. And I'll just keep these over here. All right, so feet together so that they're touching. Slap your hand on the ball, hand by your side. Give me a little demonstration of what you're gonna do. All right, start shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, give me a yes, give me a yes. Yes, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, keep your hand on the ball. What do you think? You're pretty well lopsided too when we had your head was working. All right, thank you very much. Any more cards? Come on up. I put them right here. 